Hello everyone and welcome to day two of year end 24 or as we shorten it to YE24. Yeah. Ma many names. Two, well, just two. But uh, welcome to day two. Day one, yesterday, we discussed some of our series that are coming in A, 2025, or, uh, well, mostly 2025, and projects that are now in development. No, no, no. Wow. Yes and no. We mostly discussed, like, the site project that has been in development and is nearing completion. Plus, the return of the book series with book number three set to release it, uh, one also in 2025. So, yeah. If you didn't watch uh, day one, there's a quick recap. A lot, a lot more to go off of day one will release on day four. In, and, uh, yeah. That's going to be an exciting day, I think. Anywho, today is Harlan's Day, along with an air, a Nader server services thing. Yeah. So, if you don't know what that part of our group is, well, that is pretty much all the services we run. Just this time around. We are not counting the big bad boy server. And, and you might be wondering, which, 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 there's a big bad boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little something called High Worlds. That, that's the big bad boy. That, that's, that, that's the big one. That one is uh, getting its own day. That is tomorrow. Oh, that's my legs. But yeah, High Worlds information about season two will come tomorrow on day three. Of year end. Woo! Today is all pretty much about Hirelands. And that is pretty much the sole project that, other than High Worlds, that the server team has been working on. And so, by that, that's what we are going to be talking about today. We have some concepts of what the cities are going to look like. Now I will just say, whatever these concepts look like is nowhere near gonna be the final product. It's just a base idea as to what uh, we are going to be designing the cities around and basing them off of. So, without further ado, Let's bring out the first concept, which is for the main city. We have no con- I will say, uh, we have no concept for spawn yet. Uh, that is taking a little bit extra time, as we don't really know what we want to do. If we want to make it like a little town, or- Or just do what we were gonna do with, uh, with this world, and have it be like, a little, like, Fortress. Uh, we're not sure yet. Uh, so we are still, still piecing that together, but, um, I will bring up the first concept and we will kind of discuss it a little bit. And there will be more concepts that release on the, in, in near village, one has not been said in a while, website. Uh, there will be more concepts posted there in an article eventually, um, after year end subsides. So, without further ado, concept number one. City concept number one. Well, this is the only city concept that we are showing today. It is going to, the main city of Hirelands is going to be very grand. It's going to be a more modern approach, unlike what um, in air city used to be, which is where we are currently standing, but, um, it is going to be a very big undertaking, as I think you could probably tell 
via all via the concept design that we are going to be basing it off of. And uh, yeah, I I'm if we you know, honestly if we get anything close to what we are hoping via this concept, uh, I'm going to be pretty darn happy, and that will make the main city be quite a spectacle. When it's all said and done, and I, I honestly I can't can't wait to share more information on this when when we start building it this uh, this this year. We'll be starting it in in the fall. We'll be starting to break ground and get buildings built up. It is gonna be a very bumpy road, though. Being that between this, we have High Worlds kicking into Season 2, and a boatload of other things. So, it's going to be a crazy little bit. And it's going to be a fun little bit. Anywho, let's bring out the second concept. This is probably, this may or may not be as long as yesterday's, but, uh, Let's bring out the second concept for, I do believe it is the town of Fluv that we have a concept coming up next. So, have, this one's going to be very uh, different. I, I will just say that now. Fluv, the uh, city on the river, or as we're calling it, the town on the river. It is a city that will have very, will have roads, but very few roads. And will need probably a couple bridges. Uh, as it is going to be solely based around a river. It is a very interesting design that we are going with this one. As it's mixing a little bit together. <clears throat> and this concept really does not hit home what this. Uh, I feel like this concept really doesn't, re doesn't really hit home what this is. What our goal is with this one. But. It's the. This is probably going to be like where. A big portion of the city though. So, we, we were looking forward to starting this one. This one's not starting for probably a while, though, as, um, Inner City is taking our full attention at first, and then it's going to switch to Osylerville, which we will get to in a little bit. But, uh, just know, we, we do have a better plan uh, to attack this stuff since... Instead of how we've done it, how we did it for this one, literally bounced around. <laughs> That's how we did this one. We bounced from built city to city to city to city. Yeah, barely any got done. So we are doing things different this time around. But uh, moving on from Floof to the next city, which I honestly, I can't remember which one it is. New Ash City. I did almost say that this was next, but I wasn't entirely certain. Uh, well, I'm almost positive now. New Ash is going to be a city that is based around a volcano. I think that's pretty evident via the concept. So, uh, we attempted this here in this world. It didn't turn out all that well, but we did attempt it here. It, I, it, it ended up being a mountain of literally black stone. Yep. That's it. <laughs> and, uh, then we realized that, uh, we couldn't really build a city there. So we kind of abandoned it as we tried to find a new spot to build the city. Which we did find, we just never actually broke ground on it. This is, I think, like, uh, currently, like, phase four or five to get the, for the Higher Lands project. But, honestly, I'm uncertain. To say the, the to say the least. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah. It, it's a good one, though. Yeah, I'm... I'm excited to, like, properly get designing this with my, my teams, and I think it's gonna be a very cool city when all, when it's all said and done. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna take a little bit of time. I think that's pretty known. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Moving on, next concept! I should've looked. I didn't look. But I probably should have. I'm pretty certain it's Osiler next. But I'm not certain. This one is going to be a very, very nice design. And I might use this design later on down the road. In uh, possibly a future High World season. So this could be a sneak peek to the future for even me. So have a look-see. I said it was gonna be a very different one. This is Osilerville. It is the Os the current concept for it. It is a very older style like city that will be in range of a mountain range, and I I love the design for this and. That's why I'm thinking eventually this might end up being one of my, like, concepts that I go back to for, like, a future High Worlds Mega Base or something. This would probably be actually classed as probably an Ultra Base. But, uh, yeah. Well, I'm doing pretty much an Ultra Base this upcoming season. And I don't know if I'm going to do, uh, do one of those every single year. But, yeah. Anywho, uh, Osilerville, I love the look of. This is phase two. Osilerville is being done second after Innator City. I am so excited to do it. It's going to be so much fun. It's, it is such, uh, it's going to be such a different type of building for us. And I, I'm, I'm. I'm thrilled, I'm excited to start, and this, the, yeah, and, and I'm just, I'm, I'm re really happy about the, getting started on this one. <laughs> Anywho, next concepts are a bit different, as uh, they are combining higher lands, ar architectural style, they will be combined, the higher lands architectural style, and combining the stories from our book series. Yep, you heard, you heard that. They're coming. We already kind of hinted. I think we might have hinted at this. I don't know if it was made public or not. I don't think it really was. But the three main points of our book series are coming. And we have concepts for all three of them. As they will be brought to life here and probably in the future in a high world season. It, I can almost guarantee it will not be season two. Well, actually, I can't say that. Season two is a very long season. I could end up uh, doing one of these with uh, scrapping one of the base ideas that I have and putting one of these in that I'm really liking the design of one of these especially <laughs> so, so let's bring up the first concept refuge city it is a city that has not yet been referenced in any of our books that have in either of the two books that have been released and will not be mentioned at all in the third book i i can't remember when Refuge gets um, mentioned for the very first time. It, it's it's eight hour story like plan plans. I just I haven't looked at those in a while, so I can't really tell you where <laughs> it pops up. But it is essentially 
the idea is it is the only inhabitable city in the world. That is the idea of it, and that's why it looks so different. Being that it is meant to be very far in the future. And um, we're honestly really excited to finally bring this to life and give everyone the ability to possibly go through something that we're just going to be writing down on paper. So we're excited to show you guys this in the future. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one to build as we also go back into writing our books. It is going to be fun, and I cannot wait for you guys to see this as it goes. It's like one of the last phases, so we could catch up book-wise. I'm pretty certain we're not, but that that is a possibility. <laughs> now, it's time to bring out the next concept. And this is from the same time frame it, with the books. And, uh... I, I know which book it comes in, I just don't know the number. <laughs> so I'm not going to say it. That and the book's being renamed anyways, so yeah, that doesn't help. Genofi! Yep, that's the name of it. It's a weird name. We, I know. It is the second, uh, the second, in the only other inhab inhabitable city on the planet by the time this this era of the books come around it is going to be a very uh interesting city to build be that we have we're constantly rewriting that area of the storyline and uh well th this book is very much in rewriting at the moment and um i am so excited to actually build it been that I have had a vision of this city for so, so long. And it's going to have a big giant tower in the middle. And it's, it's going to be so much fun to build. And this concept, I don't think really gives it justice. But it, it's going to be, a, I think, a very big masterpiece. When it all when it's all said and done, and I can't wait to get to work building it here and, and uh, writing it in the book series, so you can know what the story is about it. And yeah, I'm I'm just I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm excited about finally bringing these things to life. <laughs> so. uh... Final concept is upon us, and it is something from the book series that has already been well brought up. It's being slightly retwerked a little bit, but this next one might make an appearance in another series, Poss possibly this year. So... I, I'm not not gonna hold out. I I'm not gonna like promise anything, but that this next one does have a chance to make an appearance in High World season two as one of my many many bases. As I did kind of say, I do kind of want to start bridging book story stuff into there. Honestly, don't know why, but I do, and it it this next one's might. My might show up. It'd be pretty late down the line, but uh, it might show up. So, let's bring out the concept. Now, I'm well aware that this is just literally a gate with very little in the background. This is the concept of the hidden city. The What is actually meant to be more of a village, but it's technically become a, a city. It is the home of the alien race that seeks refuge on the planet. It is their home. It's been built over years and years and years. And it is hidden so far down south that no one would probably ever actually look to find it. And it's 
also the gateway between a, a slightly weirder weird world to a very very dark world and this is start this is already being slightly brought up in the current two books that are out and the third book that is coming out i am excited to finally be bringing this to life and this does have a chance of coming to high world spin that i love the design of this and i just want to build it now and this is literally the last phase of higher lands so i'm like a part of me is like i want to build this now but a part of me is also i want to wait <laughs> but i also don't want to wait i want to start it so i might just start it i might go screw it i just start it and we will see but <sighs> Four main cities, three ma three cities coming from the book series. Let's hide this. Nope, that's the wrong one. Hide that. There we go. We have we have so much coming to Hirelands, and I am so excited to start building it up this year. It is a behemoth of a task. And it is going to make this world look like nothing by the time it is done. Which is going to be a little bit weird, being that this was by far my biggest project I ever did. That we ever did. At all. And I did a lot of it by myself. Hirelands is going to make this entire world look like child's play. I'm excited. I hope you are old too. And it is time... To bid farewell and see, and I will see you all in day three of year end 24. And what does day three in, include? Well, that's a very good question. I did kind of hint at it earlier. If you weren't listening, well, then talks to me out. Day three is. High Worlds! Season 2, High Worlds Information coming tomorrow in day 3 of year end 24! Woohoo! I will see you guys tomorrow for that. Th that one is going to be a big one, I think. Possibly. Well, it's going to be a big one no matter what, being that there's some big information being shared. So, let's. Call it a day, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day number three.